According to the American Physical Therapy Association, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, estimates that one in 68 children in the U.S. has autism, one in every 42 boys, and one in every 189 girls. Physical therapy incorporates activities and rehabilitation exercises to better motor skills. Pediatric physical therapists who help children with autism aim to help a child build muscle control and strength so, so that those children are able to play more easily and comfortable with others. Mm -hmm. The majority of you will likely come across someone who has autism themselves or who knows someone that does. Therefore, knowing even the simplest idea of movement may be beneficial. Mm -hmm. Although always having an interest in physical therapy, as I conducted more research, I learned about the idea of autism in children that could be helped by physical therapy. Informing about autism, a disorder that develops with the character of a person, shows that behaviors and motor skills may, may be improved in a variety of ways using physical therapy. <coughs> First, I will be talking about what autism is. Then I will be discussing the disadvantages before working with physical therapy. Mm -hmm. And then I will finally be discussing the benefits of using physical therapy. Okay. To begin with, I will explain what autism is. Autism is a developmental disorder of variable severity that is characterized by difficulties in social communication and affects the structure and function of the brain and the nervous system. Mm. Usually people with autism have different difficulties interacting verbally and non-verbally. According to Kathleen Fergus, people who have these problems interacting are often described as being in their own world. Mm. Some behaviors that are shown by individuals with, with the disorder can also include temper tantrums, fixations, or obsessions. Most have strict routines and difficulty adapting to certain changes. Mm. Many individuals with the disorder also show postural, motor, and functional delays. Motor delays are the most typical, which include repetitive movements, coordination, balance, and motor reaction delays. The type of intervention to help individuals with autism depend on the specific problems they have and severity, as well as the, the abilities that they already have. Mm. Interventions can include vision therapy, physical therapy, communication therapy, skills training, and many more. Nice. Now that I discussed what autism is, I will now discuss the disadvantages before physical therapy. Motor aspects that are lacking in children with autism would be hypotonia, which accounts for 51% of children, motor apraxia, which accounts for 31%, and toe walking, which accounts for 19%. Mm. According to the National Center for Biotechnical Information, motor delays and motor deficits, which are mostly overlooked, have been identified in children with autism and might escalate with progressive age, regress into a set of chronic disorders and could be increasingly persuasive, pervasive with age. Mm. Considering these deficits becoming chronic, physical therapy intervention is important. Now that I've discussed the disadvantages, I will now address the benefits. By using physical therapy and other motor-oriented therapies, the risk of general health problems in children with autism is reduced. Some improve the physical condition of children and adolescents, and sometimes reduce the BMI index. Mm -hmm. Most children with autism better their motor skills as they are getting with, as they are getting time with pediatric physical therapists. Mm -hmm. As motor skills are bettered, so are their social skills. Physical activity is also said to have positive effects on social skills, communication, engagement, and acad engagement in academic sensory skills, and social behavior. Mm -hmm. Now that I've addressed the benefits, let's wrap this up. First, I discuss what autism is, then I discuss the disadvantages before physical therapy, and finally, I discuss the benefits of using physical therapy. In spite of the fact that autism creates confusion with the character of an individual, their cognitive and motor skills might be improved in an assortment of ways mm -hmm. utilizing exercise rehabilitation. So now I ask if you had the chance to help someone with a disorder they can't do anything about, wouldn't you want to do it? Mm 